in there. And while they are forcing the back New York King style, they are taking the fight to Seoul. They know they're on the break. All of these kills making a massive difference, 90%. And now this is where you get desperate if you're Seoul. You have to get in here. You have to contest the point. You've got 4% left, just a couple of seconds. Kuki, can he get through the window? All right, they have Bunny on point, so at least buy a little bit more time here. He went a little early, though. He was trying to hide out, but they had spotted him, so that's why he jumped on the point right away. Toby's going to resurrect Fleta immediately. Ark's still holding on to his Valkyrie. This is an uphill fight for Seoul. The focus, the target calling here. Everything is impeccable for New York Excel. No resurrect possible, especially not when you're dead. And New York, they might well have done it. They might have dethroned the Kings, declawed the Cats, and they are the new Kings of Overwatch League. New York Excel, they have You can do it. Well, not that time he can't, as he gets disconnected from his mercy. Finds himself in Pine's crosshairs right there. And they continue to get... He's so aggro on this McCree. He rolls in, somersaults in. That's another three-kill life for Pine. Okay, so in the span of uh, 25 seconds, he gets the death! That is a bargain bin fight win. All they had to do... Oh, uh, I'm this sure is this is going to be pretty impressive. Carpe. Oh, oh, like a butterfly, <laughs> stinging like a Mack truck to the face. Here, and Echo drops again. They're going to bring Mickey back into the fight, though. So, so much HP that Roadhog has. You know, great target to use your oh, reses on. They bring him up yet again. Gamsu will fall here. Dreamcaster does have the Dragon Blade, but Seagull takes him out. Now it's just Striker here for the Boston Uprising, just trying to contest the payload. He has Neko working inside with him, just giving him the heals from range. Striker able to take out Chips, somehow still alive on the cart, buys his team enough time for to come off more reinforcements. That was incredible stall from Sniper Striker. He was on his own there on that point. Yeah, that's awkward. Neptuno going down early. He's had a bit of a rough series, no doubt. Hot the DMX, so Shanghai with a good start here, as the point unlocks. This will be a first cap here for Shanghai as they strong arm the members of Philadelphia Fusion and an excellent start. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, Shadowburn reflects it right into Undead. The res comes in, of course, but now it's out for when Philadelphia goes in for their next attack. Now they're going to try and come around the backside into the building, but it's not going to help them get pressure onto the actual point. Dan Asher chasing down the Winston. Kareem's going to go ahead and use that Transcendence as they try to keep that payload from getting there. Down to 20 seconds left for the LA Gladiators. Oh, and Fate takes on Sherpour, who of course is rezzed again by Jazz. Pulse Bob not finding any victims, and Asher needs to back away. Not a lot of help. Finally gets some healing coming in from Big Goose. There's the sound barrier. They need to make this work. The payload's so close. Nice kill on Soon. Can they get the payload there, though? Big Goose trying to keep people away. But now, Unko, ooh, Big Goose came back for the kill. He's been a hero on this Lucio, but they need a little bit more. And they may have gotten it with that kill on the face. Asher does fall, though, and it's getting so hard to dislodge Valiant. Self-destruct coming in, and he gets back in the mech for just a moment, but he's not going to last. And that's going to be the finish of this push, Doa. I think it may be. Yeah, they're going to get it there. Yeah, they get Ooh. it there, and that means a few, a minute and a half left. We need to keep on pushing here, and again, Valiant are sort of... Now, knowing the series is lost, they want to try something a little bit different. That's also fair. However, Hydration Big Goose go down early. They hit the ground hard to start with. Links are fighting too, but again, what do you do with a problem like Links? Getting into that back line, dealing with that Widowmaker. He's not even standing that far back now as he's starting to feel a little bit more. So there's like, there's so many threats on this team. It's so hard to deal with. Hydration has to back away so early on. The Dire Force is big juice off. He's heck, he's really low. But we see Cool Man as well has been dropping. He gets by Remix though with that charge in. Hydration's trying to get consistent damage, man. He's looking for Jake now. That's a, a direct hit you really want to hit. Well, the issue is, is there's so much damage with the triple DPS for the Houston Outlaws. That, oh. The composition that the Gladiators Pack it up, boys. Yeah. It, well, they're sending both of their tanks to the...